Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Chase Bank and more specifically, we're talking about what are the ATM withdrawal limits for Chase debit card. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Chase Bank, it is one of the largest banking institutions in the US. They might be the largest. I'm not too sure. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below. But why would you want to know what the ATM limits are for your Chase Bank debit card? Well, that's pretty easy to answer. Brief rundown, you might be curious about how much you can transfer into cash from your bank account each day. Most of the time when I go to the ATM, I'll pull out $80, maybe $100, not too much. But there have been a couple of times on the weekends when I need to pull out $1,000, $2,000, maybe $3,000. And I know that I cannot do that with my Chase card. So I was kind of curious to see what the limits are. Upon researching this a little bit further, it's going to vary from account to account. So I was looking for a way to find that on the Chase app and I was unable to. So what I did is I went ahead and contacted Chase to verify what my ATM withdrawal limit is and how do you contact them. Of course, you can give them a call on their customer service phone number, but that can be kind of annoying going through the system. If you're not in a big hurry to find this out, this is how I found out what the Chase ATM limits are for my debit card. I went to the mobile website right here, chase.com, and you click sign in right here. So I'm going to click there right now. All right. Next comes the login screen. So you will need your username and password. Keep in mind that you cannot contact Chase through their ATM via email or through their secured message center. You must be on a mobile website or on a desktop. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password off screen now. All right. I went ahead and logged into the chase.com website here. Again, this is not the Chase app. This is the mobile website. Once you get here, what you want to do is go ahead and click on these three little lines up here on the top left. I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. All right. Once you click there, this drop down menu is going to happen. And what you want to do is go ahead and click right here where it says secure messages right here with a blue dot next to it. Let me go ahead and click on that now. All right. Next pops this up. This is a warning letting you know that you can read and reply to messages through this website, but you cannot initiate a request to contact Chase through here. You must go on to a computer. So let me go ahead and click continue. All right, so I went ahead and opened that up and then here is the email that I received as a reply from Chase in regards to my account. So my account, I have $3,000 daily purchase limit. That's if I'm going to be using the card for purchases, not getting cash. And then for an ATM withdrawal, it looks like I have a $509 daily ATM withdrawal limit. Now, I'm not too sure why the extra $9 is there. But if I had to guess, it's probably in case I use an out of network ATM to withdraw money and that's to help cover any kind of fees that they might charge. If that's not correct, be sure to leave me a comment below. Let the rest of us know. So for this particular account, my daily ATM withdrawal limit is $509. But again, yours might be different. And also, if you look towards the bottom right here, it says to assist you in a limit change, you can contact customer service or you can go to a branch and request a higher ATM limit, higher daily ATM limit. So this $509 must be the default limit for my type of account. Yours might be different. So I would suggest you contact Chase through their secure message center, send them an, a question. I got a reply back within about 10 minutes of me sending it, so they're pretty quick. But how about you? What is your ATM withdrawal limit for your Chase debit card? Is it more or less than what they've set me up with? This account I've had for probably 15 years and the limit is still $500. So I'm always kind of curious to see what other people's experiences are with these banks. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.